For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they give you the distributed loads, but they really don't give you the length of the top one. They tell you it's B, and they want you to find its position A, so that it creates a moment of 8 kilo, eight kilo newton meters. And the equivalent force is, I mean the resultant force is 0. So, look at the bottom one. The bottom one we have, and you know that it has an, e an equivalent force F1, that it acts one third from the long uh, tall edge of the triangle. F1 is equal to 2.5, which is the height of this triangle, times 9 meters, divided by 2, which comes out to be 11.25 kilonewtons. Now F2 has a height of 4 and a length of B divided by 2. And we don't know what it is. However, we know that F1 plus F2, which is FR, is equal to 0. They tell you right here, it cancels out. So, as you can see, F1 is equal to F2 because Let's call, I'm calling this one F2, in case you hadn't noticed. Because assuming that uh, upward is positive, you can see that F2 is negative. So F1 is equal to F2 because they're both equal to zero. So this is equal, to, this has a magnitude of 11.25 kilonewtons. So four times B, over 2 is equal to 11.25 B is equal to 5.625 meters now they want you to find its position A so that the moment created about uh, A is equal to 8 kilo newton meters so you got this length this lever arm which has a length of 6 meters. Why 6? Because it F1 acts one third from the tall edge, which is 3. One third of 9 is 3, so it's a 6 meters. And you got this other lever arm that goes all the way to here. And what is the length of that lever arm? The length of that lever arm is, let me put it over here, 6, I'm sorry, not 6. 2b over 3 plus a is equal to a plus 2 thirds of b because you know that f2 acts 1 third of the length of this triangle which is 1 third of b so if that's 1 third of b this is 2 thirds of b and this is a and that's where it acts 2 thirds b plus a so you know that 8 is equal to, I'm sorry, let me write, the moment is equal to F1 F1 times 6, because that's the length of the lever arm that is turning, minus F2, which is also 11.25 F2 times 2 thirds of B plus a. You know that the moment is equal to 8. You know that this comes out to be 67.5 because we got f1 already minus 11.25 we got b so this the fraction right here comes out to be 3.75 plus a so when you solve for a you get that a is equal to 1.54 meters. Final answer for a, final answer for b. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.